الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حضرت في الله What should one do in the case of a wicked dream? Listen to this hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari about what the believer should do in the case of a bad dream. An Abi Qatada رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم الرؤيا صالحة من الله والحلم من الشيطان إذا حلم أحدكم حلم يخاطب فليبصق عن يساره وليتعوذ بالله من شرها فإنها لا تضره رواه بخاري in this hadith, in Sahih al-Bukhari, it is reported on the authority of Abu Qatada عنه, that the Prophet وسلم, said, a good dream is from Allah and a bad dream is from Shaitan. So if any of one if any of one of you has a bad dream which makes him afraid, he should spit on his left side and he should seek refuge with Allah from its evil. For then it will not harm him. In this hadith of the Prophet وسلم, the Messenger of Allah وسلم, lets us know how to deal with the situation if one experiences a bad dream, a nightmare. And this is a common phenomenon for many of us. So how should we react in such a situation? What is the prophetic means for dealing with such a situation? According to the statement of the Prophet وسلم, he وسلم, said, good dreams are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and bad or evil dreams are from the shaitan. So when a person feels this fear from a, a bad dream, that when they awaken, they should spit lightly over their left shoulder, as such. And say, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed shaitan. And this will be a protection for them that this dream or anything related to it will not harm them. So this shows us that the movement seeks refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala under all circumstances, even in the situation of having a hul, a hul meaning a bad dream. Some of the great benefits that we benefit from this hadith is that this hadith shows us that a lot that good dreams come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second benefit is that we learn that the negative or bad dreams or nightmares are from the shaitan. This hadith also illustrates for us the virtue of seeking refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the accursed shaitan. And lastly, that by seeking refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one will be protected from the shaitan. So it shows us that even with regards to our dreams, that there is a means for dealing with bad dreams and that this is done with ibadah by worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by seeking refuge in who? In Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not seeking refuge in amulets or in bracelets or in rabbit's foot a rabbit's, uh, uh, in rabbit's feet or any other charms or anything which is false but rather the movement returns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala under all circumstances and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.